But first, we get things started off with the Murdoch trial. The state presented updated technology from the SUV that Alec Murdoch was driving the night his wife and son were killed. It is day 20 of the double murder trial. Murdoch is accused of gunning down both Maggie and Paul on the night of June 7, 2021. And McGill is live from Walterboro now with the very latest. And well, Ralph, this is brand new information just received by the state over the weekend. Alec Murdoch drove a 2021 Chevy Suburban, and investigators first examined information from his OnStar system, but it only gave information like when the car was on and when it was turned off. But this new detailed information provided by General Motors to SLED shows exactly when the car was on, the speed it was going, the direction it was going, and the location where it ended up, and it gives that information minute by minute. We have several graphs to show you, to show you the movement of the vehicle that night. So in this first graphic that we're showing you, Murdoch arrives back home at Moselle from work at 642 on that Monday, June 7, 2021. His speed for that trip was normal. In this next graph we show you, it shows the Suburban leaving Moselle, headed to Almeida, that's his mother's house. It leaves at 907. At times during this trip, the speeds got up to 7 74 miles an hour. He arrives at Almeida at 922. He's there for about 20 minutes and that at 943 in this third graph, you see the Suburban leaving Almeida and heading back to Moselle. During this trip, the SUV was going as fast as 80 miles per hour at times and he arrives back at Moselle at 10 o'clock that night. Now, the coroner estimates that Maggie and Paul were shot and killed sometime between 9 and 9.30 on that Monday evening, June 7th, 2021. Maggie and Paul's phones both go silent at 8.49 that night, and it shows that Murdoch called 911 to report their deaths at about 10.05 that night. Now, the SLED agent who was presenting this information is the last witness for the state, so after his testimony can Includes the state will be resting its case, and it'll be time. It'll it'll be time for the defense to present its witnesses. Reporting live outside of the Colladin County Courthouse in Walterboro, Ann McGill, Live 5 News.